Okay, in here I have an image of a network that I've just worked with. I have generated this network with a lower alignment score threshold than the one for the other videos. And I've mapped all the nodes that have a Swiss prod description on the network and I have chosen different colors for different Swiss prod descriptions. So this particular cluster of sequences is interesting because it has two different subclusters that seem to appear, this one and also this one, and we can clearly see that we have two different types of three sprouts annotation within this same cluster. If I want to generate a sequence similarity network for which the goal is to group protein sequences into clusters that are isofunctional, I have failed in here because I have grouped together sequences that are um, encoding for enzymes that do different types of reaction, the green one and the orange one. So what I'm going to want to do is to explore in more details this particular subnetwork and after that see what would be the minimum alignment score threshold value that I could use so I would be able to separate these two subclusters into their own individual clusters. So let's have a look of how we can do that. So I have Cytoscape open in here and it's exactly the same network. If you click on any node in the network you're going to select it. Once you have a node that is selected you can actually use the that particular button which says select first connected neighbors and you can also go and do select nodes, first neighbors of selected nodes in an undirected way and you're going to select all the nodes that are connected to this one. So what you want to aim for is actually select only the nodes that are present in these little subclusters. So what I can do is pick another one and this time I'm going to use this button in here and I'm going to select only that uh, little subclusters in here. What I want to do next is actually move that a little bit further away so I can examine it that. Because um, this is not very well defined, let's do something. Let's select all the sequences in that particular cluster by selecting several times all the connected sequences and at some point you're not selecting anything anymore. What you can also do is generate a daughter network from selected nodes and edges. If you do that you will see in your network control panel in here you have a sub network that appear from the first one that only show what you were working with. So now that I have separated my two different subclusters, what I'm going to look at is actually the edge values that connect these two subclusters. To do that, I'm going to hold the shift key on my keyboard and draw a box that go over all the edges I want to examine. If I do that and release my mouse, I'm able to select all the edges that connect these two subclusters. And I need to go now to the edge table and I'm going to see in here that I can see the value in the alignment score uh, unit for all those edges and I can sort by clicking on the header for that column. And I can see that the lowest value is 25. That's because when I generated my network, I used an alignment score threshold of 25. But what I am interested in is actually what is the highest value that connects these two clusters. And I can see that the alignment score, um, the maximal alignment score that I can find in here is actually 29. Um, when you walk with a daughter network, you can, for example, edit the network. So, for example, I can go edit and um, delete selected nodes and edges, but I've only selected edges in here. If I do that, I'm going to basically cut that network apart. This is not exactly what I want to do. So, I'm going to do undo delete. What I wanted to do is really examine this value identify the alignment score 29 and this is um, 
the lowest value that I will have on my network that allow to connect these two subcluster. So what I can do now is go back to my full network and select what I have selected and now I'm going to go and select all the edges so I'm going to go to select add the column filter and this time I'm going to go at the bottom where it say edge and alignment score and I'm going to select all the edges that have an alignment score between 25 and 29 when I click apply I'm going to have selected all those edges and you can see that I've selected 25,000 edges across the, whole net across the whole network and the edges that I've selected are colored in red and now what I can do is go to edit delete selected nodes and edges once again I have only selected on edges so if I do that I'm not going to remove nodes this operation is going to take a little bit of time but what I'm going to have now is a network in which uh, the minimum alignment score is just going to be over 29 so we could consider 30 and if you go to the EFI website and generate the same network at an alignment score of 30 these two subclusters that were connected will actually not be connected anymore and this is what we aim for we want to have um, an alignment score which is the lowest that allows to separate different Swiss prot annotation into different clusters. When you manipulate your network you always need to reapply your layout and because you reapply the layout the annotations are probably not going to be where they need to be so you need to activate the annotation uh, selection button and you can now move the annotation where you want them to be and now I have a network that for which I have this SwissProt annotation that is not connected to that SwissProt annotation when I edit a network I can go to file export network to file and I'm going to be able to export it into the XGMML format if I do that I'm going to save my file into my download folder and then I'm going to go to the EFI website and I can submit my edited network for further analysis and I'm going to submit that network to the color utility tool if you go to the EFI website you will see in here that you have a tab that says color SSNs and you can upload a network file I'm going to go to my download folder and here's my edited network that I can go and open I'm going to upload this file so it can be analyzed and after that I will be able to submit the analysis